Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins. Good morning. Welcome back to the Stanley Parable. Uh, uh, <laughs> Welcome back to the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Um, last time we left off, we were trying to get all the uh, the first version Stanley Parable, get all the endings, and then we're going to move into the deluxe stuff. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Yes, it is. Hello, Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building Anywhere. where he was employee number 427. Four two employee number 427. We can skip it. We can skip it. We know. We know. Um, What have we All not All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? No, there's supposed Stanley to be. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Somebody said there was a white windows? Open the windows? Open the windows, ending. I don't know, but I do know that there's uh, a ton. Okay, that's new content. We're not going that direction. We're just gonna go ahead and shut that door. We're not, not yet, not yet. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, we're not doing that. We're going to the right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and he... Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Probably. Ah, there he yes, is. truly a room worth admiring. Truly. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Yes. Stanley's simplest but eager to get back go. to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay. And we're not going through there. We're going straight. Here we go. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> Do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. <laughs> Ooh, I can shut that door. Ooh, it opens both ways. Clever. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? That requires a key card. Hack. Hack it. Okay. Uh, we haven't been around this direction yet. And I am curious to see everything. By the way, I've had a lot of people suggesting tons of different games. We've done the jump. That was one of our first ones. Penalty for misuse of the, the cargo lift is $1,000. Penalty for jumping off <laughs> is 5000 So it could be $6,000 if you're just going to... Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, I haven't forgotten about stop anyone. trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. For her? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Why did that get all creepy all of a sudden? Okay. Oh. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but what? with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? I did. No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? <laughs> you actually <laughs> chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. I broke no, him. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not <laughs> picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? 
None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. Yes. If you made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. Tis it's me. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision-making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Okay. Choice. It's the <laughs> best part of being a real person. Is but it? if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical hey, real person named Rupert oh, has Rupert. a choice. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Which <laughs> choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself <laughs> speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. <laughs> Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. <laughs> you may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, do I go all the way through? All right. And now I can go back through this way? Oh, I guess not. Okay. Now oh. that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and die. <laughs> Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Oh, really? <laughs> you think? Can I can I not go back? I want to go make the bad decisions. Fine. I'll go back. I'll go the way I'm supposed to. The way the narrative says. Close the door. Go back this way. I guess it's not physically possible. All right. I know the there. You'll take the door on the left. Back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. <laughs> now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> no! Why did you do that? <laughs> Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Oh, look at it deteriorating. I love it. This is, the, see, this is what happens when you try and program things. This is what it looks like. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a number map sprite board of some kind. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, you forgot your decal um, offset. That's that's a decal offset right there. All right, try again. <sighs> okay, Stanley came to two doors. And he took the door on his left. Oh, no, no, I'm going this way. Uh, why is it not letting me go through? Can I go back this way? Can I go back? I don't want to go to the left. Don't make me go to the left. Okay, fine. Let's go to the left. Uh -oh. oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe after <laughs> everything we talked about that you, my story, you've destroyed my work. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. <laughs> and what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. <laughs> I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. I I'm leaning like way. it's going to help me is go it back. better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I yeah, do know. it. Do it. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. Oh. Oh. I made the narrator mad. He got, he got an anger. With you, you, who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you've run it into the ground. <laughs> what, did you think that would be funny? Yes. You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? Not that in the slightest. there's a world outside of you? Nope. You're a child. Yes. <laughs> oh. My story. Broken. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. <laughs> it would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard to make... ...is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> no! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and I you'll be fine. I didn't want to go that right. way. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Oh, what happened there? I don't know. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. Is this just repeat? That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, so... he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Am I really, right. st like, stuck <clears throat> in a loop? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'm gonna enter the door on the right, and then I'm gonna go to the door on the left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling what? a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I don't understand. Is it, is it just forcing me to this direction now? Hmm. 
That's okay. I do know something that we can do. Broom closet's locked. Yeah, that's not happening. So. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Down is not an option. That's changed. Oh. Anything else change? Can I open these? No, that's stuck. That's stuck. No. That's different. Hold on. Hold on. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Night Shark 115. Night Shark 115. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. Night Shark 115. He spoke 115. it into the receiver right there on the wall. Night Shark 115. Yeah, that's I'm sorry, is there a problem? How you do didn't I talk? mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise can't we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial speak. step. There's no speak button. You didn't give me a speak button. There's an any key. I can press okay, any key. Okay, fine. You're not going to do it. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story can seriously. Stanley speak? If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, what? he entered the door on his left. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. The end? Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is everything alright? Stanley, this is important. The story this is a you. sad a ending. Decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. It's Choose. like we've stepped out of the third party. Do something. Oh my gosh. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. Oh, this is so sad. <laughs> Wow. That was like existential crisis kind of thing there. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-work. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, <coughs> but it didn't make a single difference. Make a wish. Nor did it advance the story in any way.
Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? No. Click a door five times. Is that <clears throat> all that you think an achievement is worth? No, no I'm no, just... No, no, I'm gonna no. go for it. I can't just That's give all. these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. Not going to I the new content. I would say that's Not the yet. kind of effort that warrants recognition. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Going left. <laughs> this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Ah, uh, yes. yes. This room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Sure did. Oh, no, oh, no, I didn't. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> I want to go see what the telephone enemy is. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Oh my I'm goodness. not your enemy, really, I'm hmm. not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has can been about nothing but that? you Or all can this we get time? down there somehow? There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Can I? Please, stop trying to make it. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? <laughs> Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something <laughs> beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Never. Wait, what is this? Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Blue door! Aha! Perhaps <coughs> you misunderstood. Oh, Stanley right. walked through the red door. Okay. Blue door! <laughs> I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. Blue door! <laughs> All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. Okay. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels <laughs> leaps ahead of where we were before. <laughs> go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. All right. Let's go here. Whee. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Okay, so what? Rate your experience. One being the best, five being the worst? Or no, five being the best. Let's go five. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know room. the game Great. needed a third door? Well, it's instinct mostly. A calling in your gut. Maybe it's because I, really I didn't follow your directions. I where the idea came from, except that... I I felt it in my soul. I did it. You can't teach that, Stanley. I moved Don't you. Don't even try. I inspired Here, you. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. <laughs> and to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. The Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboard. Good old Neil is offline, is offline, is offline. He completed in two seconds. Whoa! Did you know only twenty one point three percent has skipped into the what? This is you. <laughs> How long did it get correct or correct against others and prove Stanley Carable? Okay, okay. 
Why not ask some friends for help? <laughs> Alright. Going through the third door. Third door. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Not really. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? No, no. Perfect. No. Let me boot it up. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? What? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Whoa. Oh, yeah. We're not doing that for four hours. No way. Nope. Sorry, baby. We won't look. You heartless bastard. <laughs> Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the Family latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not <sighs> even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. The Your end is never the extremely end. valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <laughs> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Somebody else's game is going to be the Stanley Parable? Aha! Fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Hmm. Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower, perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So this... far, I love everything about this game, Stan. Is this fire? And it seems there's even more. <clears throat> Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. I think this is like a, an actual game called Firewatch or something like that. I, I don't remember. I remember seeing like a, a horror story or a horror game. It was Jump Scare. Is this, is this that game? I don't know if this is that game. But if there's a jump scare, I do, I do apologize. So I'm just going to prepare you. There could be a jump scare. Oh look, I'm tiny. Ain't this with all me? Okay, I'll run. Oh no. No, 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 it can't be. What? What? Can we, can we wander off in different directions? It is! It's an open world game! Good God, quickly block it off! Oh! Oh! Goodness, Stanley, what a close call. You nearly wandered off into that... that... thing. That big, open, just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go in any... Oh, oh thank heavens we avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. Preferably something with walls. Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. <laughs> okay, I think this will be just the thing. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. See, this is exactly what I had in mind. Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility <laughs> that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. It's Rocket League. I can get lost in here all day. <laughs> okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's see. There are lots of cars Jump. here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. 
Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. <laughs> yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> it gave me run mode. Wait, can I go up the walls? Oh, no, I can't go up the walls. Are you doing it? Dang. Are you winning? Is this fun? Is it better than my miserable little story that I work so hard on? Stanley, go I have a go. Sport, and I realize I'm not a sportsologist, but if one ball generates a... Hold on. Oh. What are you doing? <laughs> 3 to 5, 15, 5 what? Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it, you know that. Damn it, come back. Ooh, I've wandered off the game. <laughs> oh. I just fell down again. Oh, 510. Oh, it's so dark. Can you guys even see? Hold on, hold on. I'll try, I'll try my best. Let's see. Uh, where's Stanley? Let's go to filters. Can we add a filter? Color corrections? Yeah, let's let's pull up the gamma. There we go. Ooh, that's actually that's quite helpful. At least I can see now. Ooh! Oh, remember that dark area that we had? Here, let's follow the left wall all the way around. By the way, just remember that this this is completely dark on the uh, the actual screen. So I'm actually having to look at my recording software to see it. What in the world? Okay. Follow the left wall. Always works in labyrinths and mazes. 423. Oh, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing. 427. Hey, that's my office. Oh my gosh. It's like super dark. Is that like level design or something? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. Yeah, the end in the new content. Soon. In the new content! Very soon. Very soon. I can wait. I can wait, too. Do I get to move? Oh, no. It reset. Okay. I think that's it. Um... I will double check with the wiki to see if there's more endings that I have not done, and I will go and do those before we start on the new content. I'm really wanting to finish out the Stanley Parable, the original first, and make sure that I've got everything. If, you, if you've if you been following along, tell me in the comments down below, have I gotten all the endings? I don't know, so let me know. Love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out like a good YouTuber does, but it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. I'm here. You're here, we're making content, and I'm having fun. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Outro.